Good morning, scrappers and scrap heads. So, it's the next day. Kind of waiting for the sun to come up on this side a little bit, warm it up a little bit. A little chilly down here today in North Carolina. But we're going to start going through this. I mean, literally, you can see how high this is stacked on the tr on the trailer. Um, yeah, we got to go through a lot of this. See what's worth anything. See if there's anything salvageable. What are we going to shred? What are we going to take apart? Uh, I mean, I got buckets of stuff. Busted air ratchet. There's this. It's a carburetor. Yeah, carburetor. Um, we got a lot of stuff that's just going to go right in the shred. But we're going to go through it. I'm going to take the valuables. Got a nice big motor right there. I think I might keep the stand. This is a really, really nice heavy-duty stand. Probably figure something out for that. But we got, like, totes. I mean, one, two, three. The whole bottom of the trailer is lined with totes. Well, pretty close. Up to here, anyways. And then we got this printer. This printer is as wide as the trailer. Good. Yeah. Then we got a small hot water heater. We got the goodies off of that. We got some brass there. A couple pieces of copper. Get the thermostat out of there. Old old light table. A uh, <clears throat> slight feeling that's yeah, it's all aluminum. Forty-five pound weights. I mean, I got two of those. I mean, that that alone is on you know ninety pounds. Uh, I ain't gonna do nothing with those. And we're just gonna start, yeah, ripping through, pulling stuff apart. So I figure we'll. Uh, Set up the old tripod and do a time lapse and just rock it. Just start going through. Oh, here we go. Now here's one find that I wanted to show you guys. These are fishing weight molds. Lead fishing weight molds. Some of them still got the... Uh, the end. I'm gonna see if I can see if they have the any more in this whole thing. But I mean, I got I got a bunch of them, all different sizes. I think these ones here are at least three ounce, maybe. You know, spideys. But yeah, we got yeah, we got stuff here too in the truck. These are all, you know, deep sea ones. Deep sea, like this one. This one's kind of stuck together. We'll give it a whack, get it apart. Same with this one. There it is. See, these are smaller ones. These are probably one ounce. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. There we go. Got the, uh... oh, these are the ones that are... Uh, yeah, torpedo. I'm not sure that's what they call them, but they got those. It's just crazy. Crazy what we got. It's crazy what we got.
So this whole light housing uh, looks like it might have been a light table. It's got a huge ballast on it. I'm hoping I can read it. Uh, make sure it's not got any PCBs, but I don't think it does. But this whole housing is aluminum. Everything. That's all. All clean aluminum, some extruded. Yeah. And then we have the outer frame for the pot you would lift up. And this is all aluminum. It's tubular. But we'll get all these brackets off and everything else. And uh, I don't know. I might even keep that. Might even keep that part. Who knows? Let's continue on. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this mess. That's what I'm calling it. A mess. Whew, let's get to it. So let's take a look at this. This is an old sewing table. I mean, the frame is incredible. Uh, I don't know. That'd make a great bench. But we got... Uh, Get a lot of aluminum in here. Got one motor, two motors, three motors. Huge transformer down here. These cases are all aluminum. Got some old circuit boards. Real old. I mean, like, real old. I think those are actually copper heat sinks. Let's just pop right off some nice. Ah, here we go. Got some gold-legged copper moffets. Haven't seen those in a long time. Big transformer. Power box. Some electrical. A little of this and a little of that. It makes the world go on. So, do we stop now? <laughs> no, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Alright. Oh, man. Too much. We got in it though. We'll get it. Alright. So we got the table taken apart. Uh so got the aluminum. This here is just a little more cleanup to do. Gotta get the board off here. Gotta get this nice transformer off of there. Get the wires off this capacitor. And uh we ended up getting a bolt load of uh nice fifty-five percent. Some drop cord now this one-third motor this is a one-third horsepower I'm actually gonna keep this and test to see if it works it's a really nice motor it's got a nice love joy on there and everything else where I can put another gear onto it and then we got two solid motors and then some circuit boards that I'm going to take a look at a little more because we got some gold fingered moffets in there and to my seat chips so, yeah, and I think, like I said, I think these heat sinks are copper. Not sure you haven't scratched them yet. But we're still going on it. Still a mess. Uh, yeah, it's still a mess. Probably going to take me a couple of days. So let's keep doing it. All right. Another neat find. It's actually an old paper cola later. For a printing machine. All these drawers slide out. Paper goes in there and stuff. But, once again, really nice motor. See if it works. Because this is a very slow motor. And I'm thinking about making a can crusher. This motor might work. This motor might work to do a nice uh, can crusher. So we're going to take this apart carefully. Let's see if we can use this.
All right, scrapper and scrap bets. I'm going to conclude this video because this is just way too much. And you guys don't need to sit here and watch me go through all this junk. Well, let's see what we got through. So that little Oric vacuum cleaner I found, it works. That's great because I have one. Uh, and these things are awesome little vacuum cleaners. You see how we got all the motors and stuff like there. Got another big motor over there. Some of the aluminum and stuff. Getting everything broken down. Still got to go through these totes right here. And those buckets. It's mostly all fine junk this is some stuff that i gotta go through again there's some good stuff there's some 55 that's gonna get cleaned up and clipped i don't know why that got in there that right there's gonna be all drop cord get some power supplies get some uh some nice 12 gauge i'll strip that down for bare bright get some aluminum breakage get some brass get some cast this is shred that is shred that is shred I got that collator. I got the motor out of there. Uh, there's that big table. There's the cover from the collator. Like I said, we got that big transformer right there. And that'll cut up nice. It's all plated, so that'll come apart easy. And then uh, a few other things. Uh, maybe I'll make a, a quick video on, on the printer. Um, I'm not messing with this thing. This thing is just huge and heavy. But... Uh, really can't see it, but we got a nice motor right here on this unit. Uh, let's see if we can see it. Uh, but there is one motor right there, and then there is another motor down at the bottom. A couple of big motors, and uh, yeah, I want those motors, so we're gonna go after those. And like I said, you know, we got a lot of stuff like this right here that'd be aluminum breakage, it's an old carburetor. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing on this here, guys and gals, scrapper and scrapettes. So please, uh, if you stayed this long, thanks for watching. We appreciate it very, very much. Smash that like button. Hit the share. Well, hit the share. Share it out. Hit the subscribe if you want, please. You know, we appreciate it. Let's do whatever it takes. Let's leave it better than we found it. Let's give this a big thumbs up. And uh, until next time. Maybe I'll bring it back for a recap and uh, hopefully a weigh-in pay. Go from there. Later.